Now, thank you and welcome to the continuation of our previous class. Now, we were able to get up to this point where we have gotten one linear factor, and this other side is in terms of a cubic uh, expression. So, our interest here is to see how we can also reduce this so that we can have uh, four uh, simple linear factors of that equation. Now, our interest here now is to see, first of all, we try to see if we can also look for another term that will render this entire system here, this cubic equation, to zero. Let's consider when x is evaluating x at negative 2, x at negative 2. Now, in that case, we have f of negative 2 of that system. We will have 2x into negative 2 raised to the power 3 negative 3 into negative 2 raised to the power 2 minus 18 into negative 2 minus 8 that's what we have from that expression now if you open this up you have negative 8 here negative 8 will be here negative 3 into this to this will give us positive 4 we have negative 18 negative 18 times uh, this will give us negative 36 I mean a positive 36 and we have negative uh, 8 here. Now let's try to collect like terms. This and this will give us negative 16. This will give us negative uh, 12. This will give us 36, negative 8. Now this and this will give us 20, negative uh, 20 plus 16 will give us negative 36. So we have negative 36 plus 36 which is equal to 0 so you can see that this when we have x plus 2 is also a factor of that system x plus 2 is also a factor of that system so because we are able to render that and that system after evaluating at negative 2 everything becomes 0 so x um, plus 2 is also a factor so let's go through log division to see how we can uh, reduce that order by by uh, by by uh, one again so in this one we are going we are now we have x minus one into x plus two into this other part which we don't know yet so let's go through long division again plus two plus two so if we put that if we put that we have 2x3 minus 3x2 minus 18x minus 8. That's what we have. Think of those two numbers that you know, the number that when you use multiply, you have this. That is x raised to the power 2. That, so that if you multiply this, you have 2x3. Use this to multiply this, you have plus 4x2. Now subtract. When you subtract, this and this is off. And here we have negative sign negative, so this we have 7x squared negative 18x negative 8. This is negative 7x uh, squared. So the next term is negative 7x. If you use the, and this to multiply, you have negative 7x squared. Use this to multiply this, you have negative 14x. You have negative, negative 14x. You have negative 14x. Now, when you subtract this and this is off, this one becomes positive, so you have positive 4x. This one, negative, sorry, negative 4x. This one becomes positive and you have negative 4x, negative 4x minus 8. So the next term here is negative 4, so that this and this will give you negative 4x, and this and this will give you negative 8. And when you subtract, you see that that thing becomes zero. So the next term that we are supposed to have here is 2x raised to the power 2 minus 7x minus 4. That is what we have. Minus 4. That is what we have. That is what we have. But you can see that we have not succeeded because we see we are looking for four linear factors. This one is also a quadratic uh, expression. So our interest is also to to further simplify that uh, young man so that we can uh, uh, um, have a, 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 a simple uh, this thing. So can we think of two numbers such that when we evaluate at those points, it will give us it will give us a two numbers such that when you multiply them it will give us 
negative eight x squared, and those same numbers when we add it will give us seven x. Now, if you think of those numbers, what are those numbers? What are those numbers? Those numbers, what are those numbers? That when you multiply them, those ones will be eight and negative x, negative x. This times this will give you this. This plus this will give you x and negative 8 will give you that. This times this will give you this. And this plus this will give you this. So these are the numbers that uh, uh, we can use in a, 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 a factor in that app. So we are saying that 2x2 2 minus plus x minus 8x minus 8x minus 4 so that this and this will give you this one and this is what we have so we can factor this out we can factor this out if we like we can take this to this other side and take this one to this other side so from here we have 2 into x sorry 2x 2x into this so that we have minus we have uh, 2x into that and we have um, this to 4 minus 4 this and this we get this then uh, we have x minus 4 again so we just have plus 1 so what I have done is what I have done is if you look at this I have taken this so that this times this will give you this then this times this will give you this this times this will give you this now we are left with this and this we are left with these two such that this one multiplying this will give you this this one multiplying this will give you this so this one is invisibly 1 here yeah. so we have 2x plus 1 and taking one of this one which is x minus 4 which are factors so we are saying that this term is also this so in in other words this we can also further write as this we can also further write as x minus 1 into x plus 2 into in place of this now we have this uh, young boys into x minus 4. So you can see that we have succeeded in factorizing, in factorizing this into four simple linear factors. Into four simple linear factors. Now, with what I have done, we have considered that using, we showed the example using the quadratic expression. We also use a cubic expression. And lastly, we have used a, 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 a quartic expression. And all these ones are either quadratic uh, uh, cubic or quartic. So I urge the class to please uh, consider the rest that uh, we have not uh, done. We have succeeded in doing this. We have succeeded in doing this. We have also succeeded in doing this. All the other ones with similar methods is also pretty simple. Now the end sense here is all these are all um, all uh, polynomials. But what we just did is to see how we can factor them into simple linear factors. And we have succeeded in doing that. When the order is more than two, we go through long division to see how we can bring it down so that it will enable us to factor them. Now, if you are having any queries, please don't hesitate. Try as much as you can to uh, comment and uh, ask or pose your questions via our comment section. Or you can, those of you that, that can assess me, you can email me straight away. After now, I will be sending my email across so that you can inbox me as well. But via the YouTube channel, you can please uh, send your queries and I believe I will respond to them uh, reasonably. With this, anything that has to do with the uh, factorization and the uh, polynomials, I know you are good to go. Thank you and God bless. As I will always remind you, don't forget, always click on the subscription button. It won't cost you anything so that whenever we are uploading videos, you will be able to have notifications. Thank you and God bless you.